welcome back to Katie's Kingdom. I have another haul video for you today from the Character Warehouse again. We went back to Orlando um, several weeks after um, my first haul video that I posted recently and I was uh, by myself for a day. I decided to stop at the Character Warehouse even though I had been there recently just to see what they had different. So this is going to be a much shorter haul video. I have much less uh, purchases and I just decided to throw this up here, so I hope you like it. Let's jump into it. The first thing I found was this awesome Miguel. It's actually a um, like a thermos, which I probably honestly won't use this as a thermos because it doesn't seem that easy to clean, but I am here in my Disney princess guest room. I think I'm going to try and tweak it a little bit so I have a wall um, to film videos like this. And I wanted to get a shelf and put a lot of my Disney merchandise on the shelf to have like a nice little background. So I thought this would be a great addition. We loved Coco when we saw it and um, I think it's just a really cute character. It's a really cute thermos and it will make a really great um, decoration item for, for my Disney wall. So that was $14.99 in the parks and it was $5.99 uh, at the warehouse. That was really cool. The next thing I bought was for Jackson and he immediately took them out of the package um, and has enjoyed them since we bought them. And they are these Pirates of the Caribbean um, little action figures sort of and they just stand up, they're plastic. And I thought they were really cute. And these are the other ones that came in a, a set of six. And I believe these were $9.99. I'm not exactly sure because we threw out the package, but Jackson's really enjoying these. And I thought it was really cool that they included the redhead in case they end up changing her. Um, I think we got this before the big changeover happened, so. Uh, I thought that was fun and we'll have those for a long time and then when he gets sick of playing them playing with them we could always just display them somewhere and we have lots of places in our house where we like to have Disney merchandise so that was really fun the next thing I got was uh, I'm mad at myself for not buying more of these these are mini light up ears uh, this part like lights up and the bow lights up and I think they might flash um, I haven't haven't pulled the tab to get these working yet, but um, they were $2.99 at the warehouse, and I'm not sure how much they were at the parks, but because it's covered, it's an orange sticker, so whatever amount the orange things are, but I'm willing to bet it was like $20, and I'm really kicking myself now that I'm reviewing all the purchases because I should have bought more of these for like my friends, and my mother-in-law would have liked one, so I might end up I might end up giving this away um, to one of my friends if they want it because I also bought these mini ears. Uh, these were not from the warehouse, but I bought them this trip when I was in Epcot for the day. And um, I really like them. And the next thing I got was sort of for me and sort of for Jackson. Um, and it's kind of a silly item, but I got this figment and it is the food and wine Festi International Food and Wine Festival 2017 figment and he's just so cute and we don't have a figment at home and he's got his little chef hat on and I just thought he was adorable and he was $29.99 in the park and I believe he was also $9.99. I can't find the receipt so um, I'm sorry about that but I'm, I'm sure he was $10 or less for certain um, but he's just so cute and um, Jackson will play with him and then I also keep some of my Disney plushes in my closet displayed so he can have a home there. Next thing I got were these awesome, awesome socks. They're like Disney cupcakes and they have like a Mickey cupcake and on this side there's a mini cupcake and a Donald cupcake and here's the goofy cupcake up here. But they are so, so sweet. They were $9.99 at the parks and they were $2.99 at the outlet. And these are actually um, youth large socks, but I mean, socks stretch and these will definitely fit me. So I really like those. 
Next thing I got, I finally was able to find a couple of things for Justin this trip because last trip to the character warehouse there was not much for him. And I was excited to find this. This is Taste Your Way Around the World from the 2017 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. And on the back it has all of the different kiosks um, of food that they had at the festival that year. So that's really nice. And this was uh, very inexpensive as well. It was $29.99 at the event and it was $4.99 at the outlet. So they're just trying to push all that food and wine festival stuff out and they priced it very cheaply. And Justin and I really like this because we love the food and wine festival. He loves to eat. He loves Epcot. He loves tasting his way around the world. So that's a good one. And I had to film this haul today. Um, I'm sort of in a rush. I have to go pick up Jackson in a few minutes, but I wanted to film it today because it's Justin's birthday tomorrow and I'm going to give him um, some of the things that I bought. The next thing I got was this awesome 45th anniversary Magic Kingdom photo frame. And this was $14.95 in the parks and it was $7.99 at the outlet and I just thought that was so cute and I like the color scheme of it. It's um, just very, very kind of a, a mellow color scheme. It would go nicely in a lot of rooms in my house. But the next thing I got was another steal on um, really fancy picture frames. Like last time I got a really, really nice white one. And this time I got this um, metal frame. It's a silver frame. And it was $27.99 in the parks. And it was $9.99 at the outlet. And I actually just purchased a couple of frames for family members on the website. And this was still on there for full price. And I almost bought it. And it's very, like, simple, classic design with little Mickeys in the corners. But I'm thinking about putting a picture of our family in here and... Um, giving it to Justin for his office because it's very subtly Disney and it's still like professional looking. So I really, really like that. And I thought that was like incredible deal. I was really excited to find it. And this was one of those things where there was, I think only one, maybe two of them sitting on the shelf. So I don't know how they decide what gets to the character warehouse. I'd be really curious to know, but this was probably one of those like random items that just ended up there, even though it's still sold for full price in the park. That was exciting. And that's actually all I got at the Character Warehouse, but I'm just gonna show you the couple of things that I bought um, at Magic Kingdom the day that I went um, by myself. I went on a solo trip to Magic Kingdom, so stay on the lookout for that vlog because that was really fun and exciting experience. It was totally different than anything I've done at Disney before. I had a lot of fun, but this is just a couple of things that I bought um, full price when I was there. Um, at Magic Kingdom and one thing I got was this spirit jersey. It's for Justin. It's a it's an extra large It's a man size and it's this like burnt. Uh, I don't know what they call. I forget what they call this like a acid wash. It's like an acid wash. That's it and It's Walt Disney World on the back. It's like the typical spirit jersey, but he really likes colorful like interesting um colors in his wardrobe and uh they had like a black and gray one and like a hunter green like an army green one but i thought he would think this acid wash was pretty cool i really like it and this was of course the usual standard spirit jersey price which was 59.99 and there was um i got the annual pass holder discount so i got a bit of a discount on that and um i think he'll have it for a really long time he has one other spirit jersey from Key West and he wears it often and um, I just thought it would be nice to have another one in rotation and now I'm the only one without a Disney World spirit jersey and I'm holding out for when I can find the princess spirit jerseys that I've just seen around the parks recently. I couldn't find it. It wasn't in MK the day I was there. Um, it was only in Disney Springs and I didn't have time to go there but I really want that so off topic but the last thing I got um, is also for Justin for his birthday and it's really cool it's this space mountain um, like a metal put together it's called a 3d metal model kit so you put this together and it becomes a um, 
a model of Spaceship Earth. And I thought he could also put this in his office. That would be a nice decoration for his office at work. Or we can put it in our, our bedroom. Um, we're getting some shelves and stuff. Um, so that'll be a nice, like, classy looking decoration. Very subtly Disney. But he loves Space Mountain. It's one of his favorite rides ever. And um, I think it's nice to just remind him of the parks when he's at work or at home. That is actually it. Hopefully... You enjoyed it and I think it'll be a little while before I get back to the character warehouse so I wanted to show you even though I only bought a couple of things um, what I had found because I think it's fun and interesting so thanks for watching um, if you are new and you stumbled upon my channel please subscribe I will be doing more hauls in the future uh, a lot more vlogs I have a ton of vlog footage to get on my channel including a uh, trip uh, at Christmas time, a trip back in um, the spring of last year, uh, and um, my solo trip to Disney as well as our trip to Key West. So a lot of fun stuff going on on my channel and I hope you stick around and enjoy it with me and leave me a comment if you've recently been to the Character Warehouse and you found anything else that's fun and interesting. So I always think it's fun to see what other people pick up because it changes so often. So that's it. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.